Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. My name is Samantha Garrett. I'm a product specialist here from Pegasus Software. Over the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to take you through a short demonstration of the new document management desktop application available for Opera 3. Document Management Desktop allows us to extend document management facilities to all members of staff throughout an organisation, so staff that don't necessarily need access to Opera 3. This enables personnel such as account management, operations, perhaps management, to utilise documents stored within the Opera 3 document management server. It also allows them to be able to store ad hoc documents into the document management server to be kept electronically, securely and all stored within one central location. So let's have a look. Once installed, you'll see an icon appear on the desktop. Now I'm going to use document management desktop to firstly capture in a document that perhaps I've received on an email and then I'm also going to use document management desktop to search through all of the current documents we've got stored within the Opera 3 document management server. So it might be that as an account manager I've had a document come in from one of my customers and I want to be able to store that document centrally to allow other people to be able to utilize that information. There's two different ways I could do this. Firstly if the document had come in on an email, I might just right click over the attachment of the email. I could go send to document management desktop, or I could happily just drag the document, whatever that might be, over onto the document management desktop icon. Notice here that it's asking me to log in. So although I'm not actually an Opera 3 user, I do need to have a user ID and password set up to allow me to log in. This is because Document Management Desktop is very secure. So depending on what I've been given access to defines where I can capture documents to, where I can retrieve documents from, and what I can also do when I'm retrieving those documents. So I'm going to log in as manager. Now it's asking me, do I have any additional documents that I would like to index with that document? I'm going to say no. And straight away, it opens up the Document Management Desktop form. So as you can see here, I can select the company that I wish to index this document into. We can see down towards the left hand side, I've got one document here, which is a Word document. And then all I need to do is navigate to the area of the system that I would like to store this document. I've currently got access to all of the information types within Opera 3. However, it might be that I'm only permitted access to certain areas of the system. I'm going to navigate to sales processing, so I'm going to attach this document against Adam's sales ledger account. I can take advantage of using the automatic lookup, so I can start typing in Adam's Light Engineering's account code, hit return, and then it will automatically populate my index captions. And I might pop in an additional document reference, so I might call this management structure. Hit commit. Now it's telling me that it's been successfully captured into document management. Do I want to delete the original document? I might want to, however this time I'm going to say no. So let's log into Opera 3 and have a look at that document that we've just indexed outside of Opera 3 itself. So I'll log in as manager. I'll go straight to sales processing within the financials. I can see that I've got documents attached to Adams Light Engineering, so I can just double click to drill down into the retrieve form, which will display to me all of the documents that we've currently got attached to Adams account. And there up at the top, we can see the latest document that I've just attached there for Adams Light Engineering's updated management structure. I can double click to open the document to view it. And there we can see the management structure from Adams Light Engineering. So as you can see, very easy to use. I've been able to very quickly attach a document inside Opera 3 to allow other members of staff to utilize the latest organizational chart. So that's a look at actually capturing a document into Opera 3. What about actually utilising all of the documents that we've currently got stored within the system? So let's close down out of Opera 3. We'll come back to our document management desktop icon. Now I'm just going to double click onto the icon. Again, as I said earlier, it is very secure, so it's asking me to log in. 
This means that I'm only going to have access to the relevant areas within the system and their associated documents. Again, I can choose which company that I would like to search for documents stored within. And what am I searching for? Well, it might be that I want to search for everything stored against Adam's account. I'll hit return and then it produces a list of everything it's found against Adam's account. I can choose to either double click to open up one of the documents. We can see we've got a change of address letter there. If we pick up another document, you'll notice down towards the right hand side, there are a number of actions that I can perform from here. Now I'm only able to perform actions that have been specified against my particular role. So this ensures that nobody that isn't permitted access are able to either delete them, re-index them, or potentially email a copy of them to somebody else. So let's close that document down. What else can we search for? Well, I can choose perhaps a selection or a date range that I'm searching for documents in between. So for example, I know that a document was archived within the system a particular week or a particular month. And I can also pick and choose whereabouts within the system that I'm searching for documents. So again, all dependent upon what I have stored against my particular role determines what information types I can see here. What we can also do with document management itself is actually set up our own folders. So it could be that we want to start storing documents that have nothing to do with our Opera 3 data, perhaps things like minutes of meetings or design drawings. So within Opera 3 document management itself, we can actually create our own folders and subfolders that I would be able to navigate to and store documents within. So as you can see, I've been able to firstly attach a document within my Opera 3 document management server, and I've also been able to retrieve particular documents that I've been looking for without needing to log into Opera 3. It's very easy to use, and it means that we don't have to roll out Opera 3 licenses to all of our staff throughout the business. If all they need to do is utilize the documents and store documents within the server, Document Management Desktop is going to be the solution for them. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. For further information, please contact a Pegasus partner or visit pegasus.co.uk.